when Happy first asked me to do this, I guess I thought about something that represents me and things that I'm into, and I most definitely love beer. Breweries in particular is somewhere that is so very Sydney, especially in the inner west, and so I thought that would be a really good way to capture a Sydney sound. My name's Kat Harley. I play in a couple of bands around Sydney, The Laurels, Gravel Pit, and No Cake. Today we're going to head down to the Grifter Brewery. We're going to do a sample pack for Sydney Sounds. We're going to record sounds of the brewing process. I think mixing that into what goes behind before a beer gets to you. Trying to come up with a pack that is a complete package of all of the different sounds that you could need to make a track should be both beautiful sonically and visually. I've been to Grifter plenty of times. It's always huge and glorious, delicious, delicious beers. Probably the first thing that came to my mind was cracking tinnies. It'd be a nice snare sound. There's so many things that would be a potential kick drum, hitting a bag of hops, hi-hats, hits and kegs. All of that together makes a drum kit. I'll be really interested to see if I can find some kind of droney sounds that would be the sounds of synthesizers or voices from some other planet glasses clinking together, metallic objects that we'll be able to make some percussive sounds with. Anything else on top of that is just, um, I don't know, parts of music that tells a story. Now, there's really obvious things when you go into a space to do, but I hope that you can get a bit creative with it. I'm just gonna try and let the space speak to me and tell me what to do. I'm also really interested in how I can use mic placement to get different kinds of sounds. Kind of getting right right inside some of those big drums should be like a quite interesting uh, reverb kind of sound. Getting a bunch of sounds together that I've never used before and I don't know how I'm gonna use them is something that I think will really be refreshing, just like a beer. <laughs> my music making process always starts in my home studio in the inner west. When I get back to the studio, I'll definitely be doing a lot of things where I stretch the sounds and uh, re-pitch them. I really enjoy turning sounds that are kind of long and harmonious and droney into things where I layer them together and make chords out of ambient sounds. And mixing that with, uh, of course, a fair bit of distortion and a bit of delay. You get this way where you can get these textures and give them a voice and you kind of get a choir of noise. Ooh. Perfect. Start making a tune right now. I think uh, I've always really enjoyed using the beat repeat plugin in um, in Ableton. It's uh, it just kind of gives these kind of really random glitchy sounds, things that you don't expect. I think it's one of my favourite things about making music is going somewhere where you think you're going and finding ways to take you down a more unexpected path, and that ends up being more interesting. I've tried using Pro Tools and Logic before, and they have the the good sides about them, but Ableton's the one that just makes sense for my brain. With the layout of it, but then also the way that you can manipulate sounds is something that I really enjoy with it. Stretching out sounds and, you know, warping things and pitch shifting them is like, that's what I'm all about. I'm always really keen to use plugins that kind of break the rules that I've set for myself, because it's the most uh, inspiring, creative thing. I like to have uh, a lot of variety in my music. I think that's why I play in quite a few bands because there's lots of different music that I like. But I guess when I make music for myself at the moment, it's always very textural. And I think that's, that's why I like including sounds in music that are not necessarily traditional. So just get all these different interesting sounds. Given the location that we're at and that it's um, going to be a lot of sounds from machinery, it's going to be quite an industrial sample pack. Going for the sound of uh, something like she lost control. Instead of an aerosol can, we're going to get a, a tinny instead. I really hope that someone might download this pack and find some sound in there that they didn't think that they would ever put in a song. And then that kind of ends up giving a, a spark of a new idea, a character that they never thought that they would have before.